Yeah, this is a gift. Let's see what gift I have been given. Oh, dinosaurs and prehistoric life. Look at it, it's gold. A definitive visual guide to prehistoric animals. I just page through this. Oh, full of images of trilobite. And it's golden. You can see. Kind of shiny. I don't know if the camera can pick that. And here we have trilobite, a well preserved sample. Many trilobites we see actually are the molted cast of trilobites. They're not the dead trilobites. They just shed their skin. Oh, let me see what date this published. Two thousand nineteen. Oh, quite new. different authors that's everybody is an authority in their own field unlike the geology and geography one which full of mistake hopefully this is not full of mistake hmm. I like the way that they have gone from the geological time scale arcane protozoic Cambrian or division Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, Paleogene, Neogene, Quaternary. And uh, this is the way it should be. It's not just about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are just something as if for kids nowadays. It's good. This book is about uh, life and the history of the Earth. That's the famous seeker point. The, yeah. Seeker point is banded iron. Formation or beef inner core, outer core, mantle, and convection cells in the higher upper mantle. Plate tectonics. I like this book better than the Dorling Kindersley Earth. The Earth one is mostly geography. It doesn't have much geology in it. And I found a lot of errors and tip typos and all kind of mistakes in it. The basic knowledge of it is not sound. This one I hope is sound. As far as I can see, they have different authors. So hopefully everybody knows what they are talking about. Types of fossils. The life was a stromatolite on earth. These are kind of algae. Oh, 
Oh, sea pen. They were actually not plants, they were animals. Kind of similar in a way to Graptolites. I oh, love Graptolites, that's my favorite creature. They are the most similar to human beings in the sense of being vertebrate. <laughs> We're having vertebrate, something yeah, similar. Yeah. 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 And uh, every one of those little things is a separate zoid. Mm. It's a combination of multi creatures and they're all joined together like that vertebrate like. Yeah, appendix. These are very strange. Most of it comes from, you know, Burgess Shale in Canada and many other similar places, in, for example, in China, where these kind of uh, very soft sediments of clay have preserved the many of the, uh, yeah, invertebrate fossils very well, or some of the invertebrates are kept really well. Trilobites. They're fascinated by trilobites, but I prefer graptolites. A bit disappointed that I've not mentioned at all the graptolites. Graptolites are an important group of marine animals, they're not plants. And not a single mention of them. Maybe in the index, if I look, I will see exactly where they have mentioned them. These are mostly coral now, this is talking about big animals. Corals and uh, squiddy creatures. Uh, corals again. <laughs> They're kind of more interested in the reef making um, fossils. Graptolites are usually found in the shale, so they're not really making reefs. Uh, <laughs> And I can understand because those reef making animals can be uh, the host rocks for, you know, uh, fossil fuels.
And in a way, that shows where they come from, the old industry. And so they try to sell these things to the younger generation. And when they go to the job market, studying geology and fossils, they found that there are few jobs only available, and not for the best of the people. They go for what they... The you know, oil, oil industry has very, you know, weird... Uh, terms of employment, they don't employ, uh, very discriminatory in a way, like Freemasons they are. One of the questions they ask is that, do you believe in social justice? And there is a reason, because most of the oil industry companies are involved in genocide and, you know, political intrigue everywhere. Shell, for example, and Exxon, Mobile, all these companies are involved in genocide and killing of people and murdering and coup d'etat, military, junta, all these kind of illegal activities. So if they ask you, do you believe in social justice? If you say no, they know that you're lying because that means that uh, <laughs> you're not a normal person. If you say yes, then that puts you also in a different situation. So practically, you are doomed. They don't give you any, you know, any. If you're a ge geology graduate, usually these jobs kind of jobs goes for the Freemasons and their relatives and kids. Of them. Freemasonry in itself is a discriminatory, you know, system. It should be really illegalized because it's not a club or anything like that. They're based on, you know, using public and, uh, you know, uh, public sphere, as we call it, to discriminate against whoever is, is not them. You, you might have heard in your own community about the judges who discriminated against the family of a victim of murder because the murderer was related to Freemasons. We have several cases like that, very famous cases in England, including one case that was a black boy being killed by several black, white boys, which one of the parents of them was Freemason. And the judges and the police were all, you know, destroyed in the evidence, destroyed the witnesses' account, eyewitness account just because that boy had a father who was a Freemason, to put a girl away with the murder. You may have heard many similar stories. So practically, uh, this expensive book being sold so cheap, uh, in a way, is because they want people to go to these fields, but then they, told, they don't take the best of the best is a kind of like advertisement for the, what they are doing you know just keeping the keeping the people in the on their own side but at the end of the day they charge you double charge everywhere, everywhere else in the world the petrol is cheaper than in the for example in Britain or America they charge you whatever they like then they blame the you know, uh, oil producing countries, Russia, everybody else but themselves. Because they don't want to let you know that they're taxing you, double taxing you for everything. And at the same time, themselves are not paying tax because they know how to not to pay tax. One of them was uh, our beloved American president, Donald Trump. And he simply told that, yeah, because you made the laws that let me actually not to pay tax. Anyway, enjoy the book. Okay. Nothing more than that. You may end up practically working in McDonald's anyway. Mm -hmm. Or for Amazon. Mm -hmm. Or being just mm -hmm. homeless, yeah. living in a bus. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm making a video, darling. Mm -hmm. This is about this dinosaur book. 
Look, the make this uh, pterodactyl looking like as if it's such a cuddly, lovely duck. Well, look at the face of it with all those tooth. The catch fish on the episodes. Yeah. Making you think that the world is a beautiful place or is a scary place. But these were not as scary. They were, could have been anybody's skeleton can be scary. Even a, you know, harmless, beautiful, cuddly, you know, panda. Or even your little pet, gerbo, 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 or guinea pig. Look at this cuddly, lovely face of this animal. Could you smash your head with this tail? Oh, look at this. His face looks like a horse or a camel or something like that. Yeah, Iguanodon. They were showing us Iguanodons as very savage things in the 19th century. Uh, triceratops griffins were based on this. The legend of griffins. Some of these birds actually exist even to our time in many remote islands, Madagascar and some other islands. The people plan, uh, you know, like Dodo, they hunted them and ate them because they couldn't defend themselves. Paleogene. <laughs> They're becoming spiky because the seas are more dangerous at this time. You have to have some deterrent. Yeah, if imagine Vietnam, if it had a nuclear weapon, neither the French nor the Americans could actually invade and divide it. The same with the Korea. If Korea had a nuclear weapon, Americans, Japanese could not occupy it. That's the same with the fossils. You see these kind of fossils with a lot of spiky things, big tooth and other things. Yeah, you get it. If they are afraid of you, they will not bother you. That's the lesson that everybody learns, should learn from Muhammad Ali Kale, the famous boxer. If they are afraid of you, they will not bother you. When he was a kid, he was bullied by everyone because he was weak. So he went and became strong. Not for the fight, just to be strong. And he saw that all this oppression is based on the one fact. All of them hide behind religion. Religion which says to you, give one chick for slapping, if somebody slap one side of your face. And the ones who preach this, they're the most aggressive ones themselves. Anyway, nothing to do with this. Another spiky thing. If you are spiky, you survive better than the non-spiky one. Other one, this probably was suitable for bearing in the mud. This one could come at the surface a little bit, poking out and feeding on the more easier available material. Detritus. Are now coming to more familiar things to us, more mammal types, and the birds are usually smaller, and then we come to the people. I don't have a problem to be a you know, missing link, or one existing link between this and this. They're all the same, made of yeah, nucleic acids. 
I'm going to look actually in this index to see if graptolites are mentioned anywhere. Graptolites. They're fascinating. Graptolites. Only one page or two, three page. 39, 82, just no picture of them. If they were bold like this, that pictures of them. So let's go on page two to the last page to see how many pages we have here. I like this book. It's better than that. The link in Leslie Earth book, which I found really full of mistakes when I read it. 440. At least the uh, fossils are not differentiated based on the geopolitical interests of the Britain or America. Or are they? Or the industry? Again, we come back to the same question, manipulation of data.